All right, giving all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakakodash. That's the Paleo Hebrew uh, way of calling on the Most High in His true name, in the name of His Son and the Holy Spirit. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakakodash. The belongings to the apostles, elders, and bishops of Great Millstone, our leadership, peace, mercy, and grace to the household of faith, the elect. All right, the holy elect, the holy remnant, coming back to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah in these last days in sincerity and truth, the true worshipers. I have been prepared for the second exodus, the salvation. Lord willing, we be a part of that number. All right, this is going to be another lesson. I pray it be at a fine. You know, I wanted to discuss a couple current happenings and how the powers that be are attacking uh, another one of the principal things of life, which now is clothing. Okay? And it's going to make sense in a second. I'm going to go ahead and start with this precept. This is in the Apocrypha. Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 39, verse 26. We start at 25. For the good are good things created from the beginning, so evil things for sinners. The principal things for the whole use of man's life are water, fire, iron, and salt, flour of wheat, honey, milk, and the blood of the grape, and oil, and clothing. All these things are for good to the godly, so to the sinners they are turned into evil. And we're, now we're seeing clothing being turned into evil. And we're going to investigate, not investigate, but we're going to go into this and you're going to see in a second. So from End Time Headlines, China considers law banning clothes that offend others could face fines and jail time. OK, China's public is expressing concern about a potential legal change that would allow for fines and even jail time for people who offend the government's disabilities. By wearing the wrong clothing. All right, so that's starting in the east, and it's gonna make its way to the west because now you have this Christian rapper Lecrae, all right, called out for a t shirt that read, I can quote Cardi B and Corinthians. All of this is articles within the last week. All right, Grammy Award winning rapper Lecrae, known for his outward Christian, Christian faith and music, is discontinuing a t shirt claiming Christians can quote, vulgar rapper cardi b and the bible okay and then meanwhile you have the u.s government investing investing 22 million into developing surveillance clothing that can record video and audio so now the clothing that you wear in the nearby future is going to listen to you and is going to be recording things around you okay big brother is going to be watching Every little thing you do. And this is what they told you. They told you that in the future, in the near future, you will own nothing but the smile on your face. Okay. And they told you that you have to be used, that Americans in the world have to get used to having no more privacy, getting used to having a camera or an eye on them 24 seven. And they ain't playing. Okay. And so I started with that article in China, right? Because what does it say here? Second under 16 and 46. It says, no, 15 and 46. It says, and thou, Asia, thou art partaker of the hope of Babylon and art the glory of her person. All right. Woe be unto thee, thou wretch, because thou hast made thyself like unto her. And Asia, you know, uh, Asia itself, I think it just means east, if I'm not mistaken. And you saw a lot of these measures, these uh, draconian uh, drastic, drastic, harsh, um, uh, slave-like measures, they're beginning in the East. And they even said, you know, the powers to be even said that Asia or China rather is a, um, a model for what they want to do out here in the West. You see, so this is Asia. I mean, fact, let me look up that etymology of Asia. I think it just means East. All right, to go out to rise in reference to the sun, the land of the sun rising, the sun rises in the east. So, you know, they are partaker of the hope of Babylon, which is, you know, this new world order. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, uh, total, total systemic oppression of the people, you know, reducing the population, etc. OK, so the scripture says woe unto them because they're going to get it, too. They're going to be judged to Moab, Ammon. All right. All the heathen. It says, because thou hast made thyself like unto her, unto her, right? They they out there way in goddamn Shanghai and China wearing suits and ties, shaking hands, speaking English, 
It says and has decked thy daughters into whoredom. Right, got they got they uh, girls out there working, being feminist, and has decked thy daughters into whoredom, and that they might please and glory in thy lovers, which have always desired to commit whoredom with thee. Thou hast followed her that is hated in all her works and inventions, therefore saith the Lord, and who is her that is hated? That's Babylon the Great, which is America. Okay, which is closely tied in with China in the east. So, you know, from that, let's go to um that first Timothy the sixth chapter and verse eight. Verse seven, it says, For we bought nothing into this world, and is and it is certain that we can carry nothing out. And having food and raiment, let us be therewith content. So food and raiment is, is clothing. Raiment is clothing. So Literally, you know, the time is coming where as long as we got something on, you know, we got to be content with it. As long as we got something to eat, we got to be content with that because, you know, great tribulation is coming. And, uh, you know, a lot of us is going to be out here. You know what I'm saying? All it takes is one weather calamity to happen to destroy your home and have you out here homeless. Right. All your clothing gone. And now all you got is smart pants. OK. Second address. Sixteen. And 39, the point is at 40. It says, even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth and the world shall mourn and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. Oh, my people, hear my word. Make you ready to thy battle. All right. And what's the battle? The battle is the battle for your soul. All right. The battle to, to, to in the, the attempts to get every soul on this earth that remains to bow to Satan. It says, and in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. All right, in the midst of these evils, be like one that's on the move. All right, that doesn't have a a, a certain and um, you know um, a guaranteed resting place. It says, in, "In those evils, be even as pilgrims upon the earth." Okay, going back to the article, this one. So you see, in the east. They're talking about, you know, jailing people and finding people that wear clothing that's offensive. And here it is in the West. They're talking about, hey, you know, we've, we're developing clothing that's going to listen to what you're doing and watch what you're doing. And for those saying that, oh, they can't do that. That'll never happen. You're a fool. It says wearable technology is quickly evolving beyond Fitbits, Apple Watches and oil rings. The federal government is reportedly funneling 22 million into developing ready to wear clothing. That can record audio, video, and geolocation data through something that's calling the Smart Electrically Powered and Network Textile Systems Programs, or Smart Pants. You can't make this shit up. So the, the, the garments is going to know where you at, what you doing, what you done said. It says, for short, according to The Intercept, garments slated for production include shirts, pants, socks, and underwear all of which are intended to be washable to intercept reported. Okay, smart e pants. This is smarty e pants. <laughs> That's funny. All right, smart e pants. All right, so this is where it's going. All right, and this is why the scriptures, you know, did you know this is just a sobering lesson, you know, just to keep you keep you on point. Because it's easy to get distracted out here in this shit. But Acts 14 22 says confirming the souls of the disciples, because as disciples, we need to be confirmed that, you know, this is where we where we believe in is true. So that's why, you know, the, the videos like this one is to confirm, you know, your soul that this is the right thing. This is the truth. This is the way, you know, you know, how shot away the truth, the life. Right. Confirming in the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. Right. And this is also an exhortation to continue in the faith and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of God. So through. All of this tribulation is being stirred up. All right, the, the weather calamities, they got the COVID uh, stuff ramping back up. You know, the, the the financial woes, the you know, all these things that we see bubbling up. All right, we have to go through this to get to the light at the end of the tunnel, right? And this is part of that tribulation, man. Not knowing what the hell you're going to wear, you know, not knowing when the next time you're going to eat, but just knowing that the Lord going to make a way. All right, so, you know, stay on point, stay in the faith, you know, and I pray you continue, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to, you know, report on this. So you got smart technology, 
You also got Lecrae being called out for a shirt. They said, I can quote Cardi being Corinthians, which I don't see what's so offensive about that. Um, you know, but we see everybody's just being hurt. You know, let's play this. All right, what you wanted today was another talking head video for me. I know that's what you prayed for. No, but um, I wanted to, one, address a couple things. Well, first of all, we are having a, a sale on the site, Labor Day sale, 20% off, but I think that's tone deaf in light of the controversy around the merchandise that's already been taking place. So I said, let me just address it. I was in a mall the other day and a young lady walked up to me and she said how much she appreciated my music. And she said, man, I just want to be obedient to the Holy Spirit and say, man, I, I, I want you to talk to D1, man. I've confirmed to her, man, that's my brother. I love him. We've talked. So it ain't no, it ain't no beef. That's stupid. Maybe not a lot, but enough people have, you know, been frustrated or upset behind that Cardi shirt. And I want y'all to understand my intentions in my heart. Uh, first of all, it will be discontinued, just so you know that. Um, but the shirt was not about promoting debauchery or worldliness. That wasn't the intention. Now, um, I can own the fact that I, I should have put more thought into that before we dropped it. I didn't even consider some of these realities. Context is king and Christianity in major cities and places that I dwell is a hotbed for racism, um, political ideology. Anyway, man, and they about to just do away with even talking about Bible and stuff. This is all just setting up uh, persecution for those that, that have these these biblical talking points and, and anything like that, man. This is all just setting up for that, you know, because everybody just going to be offended, man. And the Lord said many offenses going to come anyway, which is beginning with the brotherhood. But even in the world, man, people just offended by every little thing. So now he got his clothing, you know, that's, that's, that he's con, uh, discontinuing because people were offended by it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, you know, I, which I ain't never know what he looked like, but because I listened to uh, that album he did with Zaytoven, that shit was hard. He had a few hard ones on that on that album. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and close that, man. You know, just wanted to report on that. You know, um, I'm going to get that opening precept I got and close with that one more time. So rock 39 and 26 the principal things for the whole use of man's life are water fire iron and salt flour wheat honey milk and the blood of the grape and oil and clothing all these things are for good to the godly so the sinners they are turned into evil and these goddamn devils is turning clothing they're using evil nefarious uh intentions you know with the clothing all right they already um Matter of fact, he's even with the clothing, what they do with the fabrics is evil. You know what I'm saying? The mixing of the fabrics, you really ain't supposed to have like 40% polyester, 60% cotton mixed fabrics. You're supposed to have 100% cotton, 100% polyester. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But when you start mixing the fabrics, that actually affects you. you know, it, affects, it affects your um, your, um, your your whole energy, your vibe. Uh, it was actually a video you can look it up on TikTok that, that talked about that. It actually, and that's why they have so many mixed fabrics these days because it actually messes you up. And now they taking it a, a step further, all right, where they they gonna put you in captivity using the clothing. So, you know, my prayer was at a final to the next one, Shalom.